All right, welcome back to the third part of how to make your own game with C Sharp. Again, our game is the memory matching game. Um, within the last part, we learned how to loop through every every picture box and change its picture to our co card cover picture. Um, in this part, again, we're going to learn after how to make it after three seconds all the cards. I mean, like we're gonna show all the cards first. Then after three seconds, show the back cover. So let's go ahead and start. Unclose this, and let's go back to our game. Um, actually, I was thinking of making it five seconds and not three. So change the interval to five thousand. And also, I was thinking of adding like a, a count, a time uh, counter. So a countdown timer. So let's go back to toolbox timer. I'll double click on it and I'm sorry uh, go to, just go to label, add a new label and just try under this give it 5 seconds change the font to something like oh, something like uh, like this one, let's change the size to 14 and just center it, uh, that's fine okay and add another timer for that and let's get to work again um we want when the game when the this thing loads to all right sorry set the timer to interval to 1000 which is every second is gonna go down all right so now we want when we load the game our cards actually to start be showing and after five seconds the cover picture to I mean, so our cards disappear after five seconds, and the cover picture shows. Okay, so to do that, in our game load, just assign hard code every picture box image value. So we'll say card one dot image equals properties dot resources dot card one, and duplication of card one dot image is gonna equal to properties dot resources dot card one as well card 2.image equals properties dot resources dot card 2 duplication of card 2 image equals properties dot resources dot card 2 and I'm gonna do this all my 12 cards and I'll be right back after I'm done so hang on okay so here I'm done with all my 12 cards now if we run it we should see all our 12 cards appear um, no, really, it doesn't. So let's see. Oh, I see. The problem is they do actually load, but then this for each loop takes over. So let's comment this by pressing on Ctrl C. I mean, sorry, Ctrl K and C. So all of those three buttons together. Here we go. Um, now we want after five seconds these things disappear. So let's turn on our timer, which was timer one. Timer one does start, okay. And on the tick of five seconds, after five seconds are done, we want the all the pictures. I mean, all the cover pictures to show. So go to timer one properties event and fire up the tick event, and just copy our for each loop, or cut it by Ctrl C and Ctrl V on the timer here. And now uh, uncomment everything by pressing on Ctrl K U. And after five seconds, this is gonna disappear. I mean, the, every card is gonna disappear, and our covers are gonna show. Start. Let's see that. One, two, three, four, four, five. There you go. Now let's handle our countdown timer. Again, we set a uh, one thousand milliseconds interval here. So let's again on the the tick fire. Every time it, every time one second finish, it's going to stop count. I mean, every time one finish, excuse me. <laughs> every time one second finished, this file is gonna subtract one from it. So five minus one, four. After one second, four minus one, three, and so on. Um, let's start timer two also. So timer two dot start. Okay, let's put this actually under it. No. That's good, that's good. Timer to the start. Oh, the, the problem right here is we need to start the timer. 
then we want to stop on the first one because if you don't stop it's gonna keep going forever and that's gonna take up so much memory so start we're good okay now on timer 2 tick do this set an integer of I call it timer and set it equal to convert dot to integer 32 label 1 dot dot text okay so we're saying is this is a type of string everything inside this is a string so the 5 is not a number but a string so we're saying convert that to an integer that's a number not a string and then we're gonna assign i is equal to I mean so timer is equal to timer minus minus so right now it's gonna take the value of timer then subtract it by 1 it's gonna be 4 then it's gonna store it back in timer so now timer is 4 now label 1 dot text is going to equal to timer dot to string or convert dot string timer timer alright the, the reason we wrote this code is because a label takes string value and remember here we converted it to, to integer so you can't really have an integer into a text value you understand what I mean therefore we convert it to a string now if you run it it's gonna work perfectly I'm gonna go 5 4 no it's not going alright let's see the problem right here let's debug our code timer equal timer 1 timer minus let's put minus 1 not minus minus let's see 5 4 yeah there you go 3 2 1 0 ah see the problem it keeps going forever it never stops and the reason of that is because we didn't set a condition that stops it so we could say if timer is 0 if timer is 0 then timer 2 dot stop timer 2 dot stop I got this capital okay now I'll run it I run it by pressing a 5 so far 3 2 1 0 and never counts down again so that's I think that's perfect right okay so let's see how we're doing with the time perfect timing okay so I think I hope you're getting actually what I mean I'm not confusing nobody all right now the second thing we need to do is okay you know what I will handle the swapping later now every time we click on one card you want it to switch right and zero all right so now when we click on this card we want it to switch to its original value the way we do that just on each card click on it, this card one double click the card one and pray and just give it a new value which is this one card one image just set it here so now we're saying when we click on card one do this show me card one and do this for the location do for the other one card just put card two instead of card one and here card three I'm sorry card two is because of duplication so this is a duplication duplication I do apologize this is duplication as well okay so I'll finish up all my 12 cards again and I'll be right back alright so here I'm done with all my 12 cards now uh, let's run it and let's see how it does look like all right, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's start flipping our cards. Perfect, perfect. All the cards are being flipped. That's it. Amazing, right? Okay, now, all right, that's good. It's really good so far. Um, you see, I have a lot of code right here. I'm just duplicating the same code over and over. What I will do is I will just set it, put it in a group. So within region call cards and then I will close the region at the end of all the cards that just to make myself my code organized so boom that's it just call it uh, change card value that's it that's good okay um, now what I do really like to do is after five seconds to enable a hand on 
to on the card so it tells you oh now you can click on it do that after the time is up after the time more ones up uh, for each picture box do this picture picture dot uh, wait let me see I forgot actually what is it called let's go to properties and properties and let's see and I think it's called the mouse something the, oh the the cursor for it as as an as a, let's see as an hand okay so I'll go back so for each picture box picture dot hand dot dot cursor equal cursor style because that style dot hand oops dot style now equals hmm, cursors dot hand okay that after five seconds we're gonna have a hand on top of each one of them you see that looks nice right okay um one more thing let's disable all pictures so no one can click on it before before the five seconds i still can click on it nothing happens but you know why would i do that so picture dot picture dot disable enabled equals false picture dot enabled equals false Okay, now I can't click. Nothing really happens when I click. But after five seconds, I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to do that. Or actually, the opposite. So unload picture one that enabled is it true? After five seconds, it's true. And and here for each picture for each picture picture box picture and 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 and, and cards. Hold that controls. Do this. Picture that enabled is false. Now all of them are, are false. Are not enabled. But after five seconds, all of them will be enabled. So amazing. Okay. Um. With the next video, we're gonna swap the places, and we're not gonna allow except two cards to be flipped at the same time. Okay. So stay tuned. And also don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Subscribe, um, like, and share. Take care.